are now listening to Crypto Files. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. Hit the like button and the subscribe button if you end up liking the content, along with the notification bell button. And you'll know when I produce new content. As of today, November 11th, I have a total of 74 subscribers. So I just want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you if you have subscribed to the channel. I'm starting to think and brainstorm of ways to give back to the community. Either when I hit 500 subscribers or a thousand, I'll probably be giving away some type of crypto. I'll take a look at my wallets and see what I can give away, but I'm starting to brainstorm. So stay tuned. With that being said, anything I say in this video or any of my content is only to be taken as uh, my opinion. It is not financial advice. So don't go trading your crypto or NFTs based on any of the content that I show or create. And with that being said, Solana is the subject for today. I'm going to be showing you how to stake your Solana and I'm going to be covering Solana in general again because it is such a big deal. It's still making waves. It's making headlines and it's for a reason. The average cost per transaction. I'm on their main website and you can tell at the very bottom they show the t total number of transactions and that's a ticker. It's going crazy, obviously, and the average cost per transaction is just a fraction of a penny, a fraction and fraction of a penny. Uh, transactions per second are 2,430 and that fluctuates. You'll see it go up and down. And then there's also a count for the validator notes on the on the bottom right hand corner. So let's take a look. I saw this article today that was published by the Markets Insider and crypto billionaire Sam Bankman Fried says Solana is better than Ethereum as it's one of the few networks able to handle mass adoption. That's a key word that you know we covered with the Cadena video. As Cadena's overview documentation showed that their vision was rebuilding a chain for mass adoption. So this guy knows what he's talking about. Sank Bankman Fried, the 20, 29 year old that heads up the FTX exchange, believes Solana is better than Ethereum as it's one of the few blockchains with a plan to accommodate mass adoption, right? And this 29 year old is just not no, just he's not your average Joe. He is the one that leads the FTX exchange. And if you're not familiar with FTX, it is a competitor to Coinbase. You can go and download the FTX exchange application on your iOS device or Android device. I've already made an account. I haven't traded any crypto on it because I've been trading on other exchanges, but you can use it just like you would in regards to buying or selling crypto. It's almost a replica of Coinbase in some ways. So it is a direct competitor to Coinbase. He's also uh, the youngest individual to enter the Forbes rich list after Facebook's Android Mark Zuckerberg. And he has a net worth of twenty two point five billion thanks to his crypto business. So his opinion matters. He knows the ins and outs of the crypto industry. And he knows what he's talking about here. He's highlighting the amount of transactions that Solana can do per second at a fraction of a penny, while Ethereum handles only 17,000 at a cost of $5 and 80 cents each. That's each transaction. And let's be honest, it's more than that. Sometimes when you're trading NFTs or sending money, we're looking at gas fees of $250. Um, I keep saying 250 because I thought that that was the highest that I had seen. I have heard of even higher gas fees. We're hearing reports of $300 uh, dollars for a transaction. So I actually have some crypto that I haven't traded because I don't want to pay the gas fees. Um, Solana is one of the few currently existing public blockchains that has a really plausible roadmap to scale millions of transactions per second at, you know, fractions of a penny per transaction, which is a scale that you need for this. Bankfried said that is not where a lot of the other blockchains have been focusing, including Ethereum. I think they are focusing on it, but not immediately. They're trying to upgrade Ethereum to 2.0, which is from a proof of work to a proof of stake. But that's going to take time and they keep pushing the deadline farther and farther away. They, they, they currently say it's 2023 and then they push it a little bit back, a little bit back. And I have yet to see or hear of a project that has successfully transitioned from proof of work to proof of stake. I'm not saying that they can't do it, but it's probably not easy to do. Um, and just because they keep pushing the date back. Meanwhile, Solana, Cadena, Avalanche, they are all able to do transactions at lower rates per transaction right now today. So comp competition's heating up. 
let's take a look at the article and he also touches base on bitcoin and kind of highlights that it's the most traded cryptocurrency and is gradually entering financial mainstream so we see institution adoption and it's the most famous one that it's a household name however its network for now doesn't offer the same flexibility and scalability of say ethereum so he's saying that ethereum will probably struggle for mass adoption um at, in its current state and here he's saying even bitcoin is probably uh you know in a worse position um so yeah very interesting article he touched base on a lot of the things we talked about in my last video for cadena and cadena's um overview of their vision and their goals so the competition is heating up let's take a look at the price real quick it's sitting at 236 dollars it's doing amazing if you ask me the daily charts here are showing nothing but an uptrend since the end of summertime and i would not be disappointed if i was an investor in solana especially if you got in during the summertime or before that yesterday we had a correction in the market and even then it sustained very well and a lot of people were panicking yesterday with some of the sell-off that we saw and to be honest it wasn't that bad it wasn't even a 30 percent correction or even worse a 50 to 75 percent correction i think a lot of individuals panic and they panic sell so we're not doing too shabby sitting at 234 dollars that's pretty nice and one of the things that i wanted to cover is the staking rewards that you may be able to benefit from for staking your solana and how do you do that what's the easiest way to do that well if we look here the front page shows that they're validator nodes right and there's a thousand one hundred and seventy one validator nodes and these are nodes that are validating transactions and they get rewarded for doing that now to run a node it takes expense it, it takes a good amount of hardware and hardware is expensive so you might not be a node uh validator and you might want to help out one of these validator nodes by staking your solana and as they get rewarded and you help them out with the solana that you stake you also get rewarded so let's take a look so the phantom wallet you're gonna need this and i created a video in the past that says why you need the phantom wallet i show you how to install the wallet so if you want to go back and watch that video you can they also have instructions here on their main website and i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description but you'll need one of these browsers either chrome brave firefox or edge and they're all built on chromium so i have chrome and i have brave for this video i'll be using chrome and yeah you're good to go if you have one of those it's an extension so first and foremost what's a validator so on the solana proof of stake network validators are responsible for processing new incoming transactions as well as for voting on and adding new blocks to the blockchain soul holders can participate in the network and earn rewards by delegating their tokens to stake with one of the hundreds of validators who run maintain and secure the blockchain Validators with more stake are chosen to write new transactions to the ledger and pass on more rewards to the delegators for helping keep the network running as quickly and as smoothly as possible. So you would be a delegator if you staked your Solana. You're delegating your Solana to the node and the node validator, and then you are the recipient of those um rewards that they offer as a node validator delegating your tokens to a validator does not give the validator ownership or control over your tokens i thought i would highlight that it almost seems like a lot of individuals get the impression that as they stake their tokens they're giving them away to the validator and that's not the case obviously it's represented in the blockchain that you have gone ahead and locked up your soul um to be used as you know uh by the delegator but that doesn't mean that they have ownership of your soul so with that being said let's say validator went offline you would actually just go ahead and unstake your soul and then you would go ahead and retrieve ownership of them to go ahead and use them so when you do stake your soul you are not able to use any of those funds for transactions right you're kind of just letting them borrow quote unquote borrow um, borrow them for the stake and how do you do that so it's pretty easy first of all um you'll install the phantom wallet and once it's installed on the top right hand corner remember it is an extension there's a little phantom ghost we'll click on that and most of the time it'll lock up by itself and it'll ask you to enter your password i've entered my password you can see my wallet here um i used to have some meme coins have sold those and only have solana at the moment 
Let's click on Solana. And it shows me the balance up at the top. You can see that I've staked already some of my Solana and I've staked 10 souls. And right now those are locked up. So I only have access to 5.3, which is an equivalent today of $1,200. If we take a quick look here, I click on that and I've staked with this validator, which is called Certus One. And if you're wondering which one to choose, Solana itself has a page or I may say, Phantom has actually created a page which is called validators.app. And if we click on that, this is a website that ranks the validators. So meet the validators for Power Solana. And when you go down the list, they're ranked by different criteria. They got a score, they got a, a list for stake. And I went ahead and chose the one that I chose because it's number three. And I'm just comfortable with it because when I first opened the Phantom wallet, I just randomly chose it. And that was it. it. I didn't even know this site existed. So you might, you know, you might select another one. Um, so I went ahead and locked up 10 Solanas there. And um, I have, you know, a little bit more. If I want to, if I want to go ahead and stake more, I'll show you how you'll click there, your stake, and then you can add another validator stake Solana. You can search for any of these validators that are on this list here by typing the name and search this one. I'm going to go ahead and do another Solana. And I'll go ahead and click stake. And now it says staking your Solana. We'll give it some time here. Actually, I usually always close it now that I remember. So they're creating the staking account. Um, so you can close it and it'll, you'll see that it'll say activating. Um, and it's going to take into account the additional Solana that I've gone ahead and, and uh, decided to stake. So now it's 11. So now I have two staking accounts just because I did it in two separate transactions, but they're both activating. I've gone ahead and done, uh, gone ahead and locked up 10 today. And I just locked up one as an example for this video. And you can tell that my value for Solanas that are available for transaction has gone down to four. And that's how you stake. That's it. Easy with um, a phantom wallet. So if you like the video and you like the content, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And 94% of my viewers are still not subscribed. Let's get that subscribe um, count up and then I will give away some crypto. I appreciate you guys and hope this video helped you leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think and what type of uh, content you guys like. And until next time, thank you.